Yo, what is up, you guys? This is DeAndre. And Javante. And this is Dre and Jay. And we're here today to give, share our thoughts on the first episode of House of Dragon, or House of the Dragon, uh, the Game of Thrones uh, prequel series uh, on HBO Max. On HBO. On HBO Max. And, uh, damn, man. Hey, they got me back, bro. They got me back. I'm hooked on this shit now again. Um, I thought the first episode was amazing. Uh, it does a really good job of establishing a lot of the characters, um, new characters. And yeah, man, there was a lot of shit that uh, I, I really took away. I thought um, some of the graphic shit, the violence, I thought was great. You know, it was, it was kind of throws back to the first, what was it? First seven, six or seven seasons of Game of Thrones. Um, and you know, one, one of the things I really liked about how this show is starting off, because it kind of goes into what Game of Thrones was originally was, you know, because I, I know like uh, we had the whole Nightwalkers um, plot play, into, play a huge factor. Uh, sadly, that wasn't executed well for it to end. You know, it had a terrible ending. Um, so I think what makes Game of Thrones great, though, is just the politics of it you know as far as the iron throne you know so that's what it's always been about uh so that's what this show is kind of establishing already and uh i'm really enjoying it yeah i agree i think you said a lot of great things um the cast has been amazing so far from what we've seen um the politics i think that's the main thing that um the show gets back to which is what was great about the first couple seasons all the politics and the you know um different houses um, we don't see many of the other houses, but we still with Targaryens, which is dope. But I'm sure as we get going forward, we're going to see more like the... Since he's named his daughter as his um, heir to the throne, I'm sure we're going to see more people trying to sneak in and try to screw her over because she's a woman or not respect her because she's a woman. So overall, the show was fun. Um, I like the first episode. Uh, I think it's. A, I think they're gonna do. I think it'll be fine. I think the show's gonna do well because I think they're gonna go back to the same fact of. Um, I'm sure the first is gonna be well because like I'm sure they got it all well written out. But I don't. For Game of Thrones, like we nobody complained until it got later on to the seasons. Mm -hmm. um, but so far, I think some people complain about the characters like uh, you know you don't know nobody, which is supposed to be the point. You don't know nobody, so it's a different time zone. Uh, the man that plays uh, from Morbius, I think he's amazing. He stands out to me. I think he Matt Smith, yeah. Yeah, his uh, presence... Still, still is every scene that he's in. Yeah, his presence on the screen just... It just feels kind of like he's a bad guy, but like, he doesn't do anything... Well, he does some things, but like he doesn't do anything in certain moments, where, and you're still like, this guy's like an asshole or some way. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you also feel from him a little bit, too, because he's kind of standing like the bad guy, in a way, mm -hmm. by his own... Uh, by, his, by his brother's court. Right. Um, I like I like kind of like the moments of tension between him and, and his brother's... Uh, the King's Hand, you know, Otto Hightower, played mm -hmm. by uh, Riss Ifans, who's, yeah. who's amazing as well. I really like the tension between those two. Like you said, Matt Smith, bro, he, he steals every scene that he's in. Uh, see, <laughs> and you know, hey... Already one episode in, we saw someone get uh, gray joyed, so that was uh, something. Seeing that <laughs> happen, there's a lot of shit that's gonna try to cover in the first season. I know this uh, is inspired by Fire and Blood, I think is the book, and then hopefully it leads into Dance of the Dragons, which is the war between uh, the Targaryens and everything. So that's just common fact that i've i've figured out before i watched this show kind of just to see where the, what it's trying to what the story is trying to take place in um and i actually think they're doing a time jump too in this in this uh season as well like i think episode six they're doing a time jump okay like 10 years or something i, I just right. know i just know there's two different actors playing okay the Rhaenyra targaryen and also the allison girl who apparently allison you know the the her friend mm. ends up getting married to the father. Yeah, her father. I can, I can see that. And she becomes queen, and then they end up having children. Rhaenyra ends up getting together with her uncle, which is the guy that just left. Yeah, uh, got banished basically, and they end up having children together. 
Okay. Well, that's going to sit with a lot of people. Ancestry. Well, that's going to sit. You mean incest? Yeah. Incest. Yeah. Yeah. I'm well, that's going to sit with people. But I mean, hey, that's how the story goes, though. Yeah. I mean, I mean, that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. I'm not. I. I'm, I ain't know anything. Yeah. So. And even though, like, I'm, I'm, I'm all for Rainier Targaryen. I think it's going to be great. Uh, just seeing her in the in the spotlight because you know it kind of gives fans that uh, homage to Daenerys. Seeing her try to become queen, although if you know her ending, it does not end well. Um, they've even said it in an episode of Game of Thrones. I think Joffrey was talking about it. Mm-hmm. The brother, that motherfucker was cruel, bro. <laughs> he said keen for a day. <laughs> well, let's be nice. Yeah. Let's be nice. We don't have to go there. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but you didn't have to say it. I mean, good Lord. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was tough, but no. Nah, otherwise, I think it's a, it's a really solid episode. Um, I can't wait to see more episodes beyond this one. Uh, so I'm gonna be tuning in every Sunday to check out every other episode. We'll be sure to give you guys our thoughts from everyone as well. Um, but so far, great start. It's definitely going back to what Game of Thrones originally was, and I'm happy for it. Um, doesn't feel rushed at all. It feels like they're really trying to establish something here. Um, so I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy for the Game of Thrones fans, community, uh, George R. R. Martin, you know, I feel like, uh, for him to finally, you know, to see his story get told right this time. It's only one episode. Though. I ain't been a season yet. I know. I know. I'm just saying though, but off to a good start. I'm, I'm hoping those, that, that's, that's something I'm hoping for. Like George R. R. Martin is happy with this. Like, you know, he doesn't look back and say, okay, they, they went without, did you not feel no, about the first season of the Game of Thrones? Huh? Did you not feel about the Game of Thrones the first season? What are you talking about? The original trilogy, the original series. I thought you, I thought I thought you had input in the first season. I'm sure you had input in this one too. Yeah, yeah I know. No, I'm saying so. I, he wasn't. You're, I'm, I'm saying he wasn't pleased with the first season. The first season of the first one. No, he was. Okay. I'm saying I'm I'm glad they're getting back to like George R. R. Martin is getting pleased. At the end. I, I I hate to see the creator of fucking Game of Thrones be pissed off by how the last season ended, even though like you know he wasn't finished with it, so. You know, hopefully they do right by him this time and actually take his fucking advice. If they, if he says this shit needs to be ten seasons, make it fucking ten seasons. That wasn't, that wasn't even, that wasn't even HBO Max. That was the yeah, that was the, the directors. yeah, the D and D. Fuck them guys, man. They don't even. It's one thing if you had them Star Wars movies already here for us, but you don't even have them motherfuckers. So they're not uh, doing Star Wars anymore. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like it was a waste. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, amazing. Can't wait to see more. Um. Let us know your thoughts down below on Game of Thr- or House of the Dragon, the pilot episode. What did you think about it? Uh, again, let us know. And if you enjoyed this little review slash discussion of it, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. I'm DeAndre. I'm Javante. And this is Dre and Jay. Peace. Peace.